Hello everyone, my name is Henry. In this video, we will install about security version 3 on Ubuntu 22.04 server and we add uh, our security rule from a core rule set for rules that we use on mod security 3. Okay, let's jump in. Like now, uh, I will connect to my instance. I have created the instance of EC2 on AWS and it's uh, with T2XLarge with 4 virtual CPU and 16 gigabyte of RAM. Okay, we just click connect, add and continue. Okay, we successfully log in to our server. You can see that uh, this is Ubuntu server 22.04 and we are with T2 XLarge with 4 virtual CPU and 16 gigabyte of RAM. Okay, I just clear the screen. The first thing we need to do is we do some update and upgrade. We just hit enter. We type Y to agree with the installation process. Okay, we just hit enter and we press tab to go to OK and enter again. Okay, we have successfully update and upgrade our server. The second one is we need to install some libraries that we need to make or configure or set up our source uh, that is uh, mod security. And we also uh, configure Nginx from source later on. So we need to install this library. Complete script of this installation or this lab is available on description of this video. Right now we just hit enter again. The installation process is running again. We just add dash y to agree with the installation process okay we just hit enter again hit tab to ok button to ok option and enter again okay we have update and upgrade our server we also install some libraries that we need in this lab Okay, we move to segment 2, which is we will install a mod security from source. Okay, we just cd to opt and we will clone uh, from GitHub repository of mod security. Just hit enter. Okay, we successfully clone the mod security source. We cd to mod security and we run sudo git submodule init and submodule update. Okay, now we can build the smart security okay looks like it's working now we will configure the mod security okay next we will make this module with for virtual cpu that our have we can also run just with make we can add option g to speed up our process 
this uh, VM is with uh, for virtual CPU and 16 gigabyte of RAM so it will take uh, shorter time than a lower virtual CPU and RAM okay looks like our mac is finished and it's okay now we will make install okay it successfully install our make next is we will uh, download mode security engine connector we will use uh, later on but uh, we will download it right now so we also get we also get the our smart security smart security engine from github repository we just hit enter okay we can see we have much security that we will install before that we have installed before and a mod security engine connector Okay, the next one is we need to install the engine egg we will uh, use on uh, engine egg repository from ppa okay we add repository on red engine egg okay we can update our repository before we install the engine egg and we can install engine egg dash y to agree with the installation process okay tap to ok option and enter again we can check the version of engine egg you can see uh, the engine the engine egg version is 1.24.0 we can uh, use system ctl to enable engine egg on startup we can also check the status of engine egg right now it's running uh, for this installation we need to stop this engine egg first it's actually okay when we run but uh, in this lab we will stop engine egg first we got our engine egg version and the next one is we need to download the engine egg source code from engine egg website with the uh, same version with this currently installed so we will get we will we get engine egg 1.24.0.tar.tz okay we successfully download and we use tar to extract the engine egg and we cd to engine egg now we will configure our engine egg with a mod security engine egg connector so with this command configure with compatible and we add dynamic module from opt mod security engine egg we just hit enter the configure process is running okay looks like there is no error we just got one error and this is acceptable we will see our log on this user local engine egg logs error dot log or etc engine egg and after this we can make the engine egg from source okay and we can run make modules for our use with nginx that we have installed on this ubuntu server okay after that is we need to copy our object of 
nginx underscore http underscore mod security underscore module dot so to etc nginx modules enable so we copy the library or the module that we have created from nginx source to our nginx installed on this ubuntu server can see etc nginx modules enable okay we can see how we have successfully copied the module and we need also to copy configuration from mod security from opt mod security mod security dot conf recommended to etc nginx mod security dot con and there is one again opt mod security unicode mapping also to etc engine egg you can see engine egg unicode mapping and mod security dot con this two okay after that we will uh, edit our engine configuration to load module from a module that we have created with uh, engine x source we use nano editor to etc engine x engine x dot conf and we need to add like here to load module from etc engine x modules enable our modules mod security Control A to save Y enter. We can check engine X configuration test. Test is successful. Next, we need also edit our server block, which is uh, inside enable and default. This is the default server block when we install uh, engine X on Ubuntu server. You can see right here. We need to insert this to configuration it is mod security on and mod security rules file is on etc engine egg mod security dot con control again y and hit enter to save now we will edit the mod security files to use uh, secure engine to on not detection only but on save again why hit enter again we can check engine x dash t to check the configuration test it's okay now we can uh, check our web server uh, the first one is we need to start our engine x again you can also use system ctl Okay, we test on browser. We just copy the public IP. Okay, right now we can see our engine X is running. Now we try some uh, malicious code. Not found. It means it's still executed by the engine X web server. That's why we need to update our uh, rules or our CRS or rule set with OWASP mod security OWASP uh, core rule set okay we back again to our terminal I just clear the screen and we will clone also core rule set from github repository to etc engine x OWASP CRS we hit enter to clone the repository Okay, we successfully cloned the repository and we need to copy and paste the configuration from crs-setup.conf.example to crs-setup.conf. Okay, and we need to edit our engine egg mod security.conf and on the bottom of this configuration we need to add rules from our CRS 
So we will include our CRS, CRS setup.conf, and also all of rules on this our CRS. Control X again, Y, enter. We can check engine X configuration test. Syntax is okay. Now we will install. Oh sorry, we will let's start our engine X. Okay, we hit back again to our browser. We try to access again. Bin bash. This is the cell command. You can see we got 403 forbidden. That means that uh, we can run, we cannot run a shell command on our web server or our application. We can check this on our server with l f for log engine x error log. Okay, we just back to browser again hit and check log you can see that client this is our public ip access denied blocking inbound anomaly score inbound anomaly score exceeded because we enter the bin bash command if we don't include this one it's okay the engine egg will serve our request but uh, when we access with some malicious code or shell code or something uh, fishy or about hacking engine egg and mod security version 3 with our crs will block our request okay i think that's it how we can install our mod security tree on engine x web server with rules from our crs the complete script of this tutorial is available on description of this video thank you very much we hope this video is useful for you don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe give us a comment to support us Thank you very much and we will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.